A rogi will not sleep in the night, a bogi will not sleep in the night, a yogi also will not sleep in the night, because for him also night is very conducive. What light does to you is, it makes everything distinct. Suppose lights went off, there is a certain sense of lack of boundaries in the night. So for yoga, for sexuality, for friendship, for being together, for study, for focus, for all these things, night seems to be more conducive. My question to you is, I personally feel that I function more efficiently in the night than I do in the day. It's not oh, that I've changed wow. my biological clock or something and I sleep during the day, but it's just that I feel more productive, not only while studying, but otherwise. I feel invigorated at the night, so why is it so? Maybe Thank you. Maybe you're in the wrong country, huh? <laughs> There are three types of people who do not sleep in the night. A rogi will not sleep in the night. A rogi means a sick person because he cannot sleep. A bogi will not sleep in the night. A pleasure seeker will not sleep in the night because night is conducive for him, for his kind of business. A yogi also will not sleep in the night because for him also night is very conducive. Which one are you? You can decide, I don't want to say anything about it <laughs> Why night is? See, light, we value light because our visual apparatus are made in a certain way. What light does to you is, it makes everything distinct. See, now because it is lit, I can see this person, this person, this person, this person, this person. Suppose lights went off and if this became dark, I just see a mass of people. I don't see this person, this person, this person. So there is a certain sense of lack of boundaries in the night. So for yoga, for sexuality, for friendship, for being together, for study, for focus, for all these things, night seems to be more conducive because the difference between what is you and what is the other comes down in the light… in the night simply because our visual apparatus function like this. Where there is no light, everything merges in our experience. So a yogi, a bogi and a rogi, all three of them make use of the night. You can also make use of it, there's no problem unless you're sleeping in the classroom. <laughs> if you're not sleeping in the classroom, it's fine, nothing wrong with it. But you will see, you try this and see, can I share something? I was made like this. I… if I sleep in the morning, normally my school used to be 8.30 in the morning, from 6.45 my mother and my sisters will start waking me up. It's a series of uh, efforts. <laughs> Many things, they'll make me sit up in the bed, They'll come and twist my arm and do this and this. My mother will do it gently, my sisters will <laughs> do that. Then they will drag me and my mother will put toothpaste on the toothbrush and give it to me, I'll stick it in my mouth and <laughs> She'll get me my clothes and say, go and sh have shower, it's time up, time up. I go inside the bathroom and fall asleep. <laughs> if nobody wakes me up, Till one o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon, I'll just sleep like a rock, not wake up and roll around, simply dead. But I started practicing yoga at the age of twelve. In about maybe eight to nine months, after that, no matter where I am, even till this day, where I am, which time zone I am, every day I'm in a different time zone, but at 3.35, 3.40, I just come awake because some changes happen in the nature at that time. I… my body just comes awake. If I want, I can get up and do what I want. If I don't want, I can sleep some more, but it always comes awake. So you have to bring some sensitivity into the system that… See, you are a product of this planet, yes or no? 
whatever nonsense individuals may think about themselves, we are all just a pop-up from this planet. You've seen those pop-ups on the computer screen? Pop, pop, yes? <laughs> You're just a pop-up, you'll be gone. You can't believe you will be gone, huh, me? I will be gone? Yes, all the very smart people, countless number of people who walked this planet before and you and me, where the hell are they, huh? Not a sign, all became topsoil, isn't it so? Weren't they pop-ups? Aren't you a pop-up? Poop, poop. You may think you have a great life and this and that, as far as the earth is concerned, it's just recycling its soil. Just throws you up and draws you back, throws you up and draws you back. So in this little pop-up, the important thing and the most important thing is, you create sensitivity within you, such sensitivity that every dimension of life comes into your experience. Before you fall dead, is it not important? You experience this life in this fullest possible scale, yes or no? Experience means people think, we must party every day. No, no, same damn thing, how many times you will do? There is much more for the human life to explore. You must become sensitive. When I say sensitive, because the word sensitive is used in a wrong way in the sense, when people say, oh, she is very sensitive, we are supposed to understand, uh, she will get hurt for just about anything. Yes? No, being sensitive to life and being ego-sensitive are two different things. Being sensitive to life means if you walk into this hall, you experience everything that's here, you don't miss a thing. If you walk outside, you don't miss a thing, every dimension of life should come into your experience. This happened. Shankar and Pillai bought a work… Uh, what? He bought a work donkey and the man who was selling the donkey, said, see, this is a very sensitive donkey. You cannot beat this donkey. You cannot use bad words, you cannot abuse this donkey. Shankaram Pillai said, that's great. Every day I'm tired of beating these donkeys and abusing every day. I have to use filthy words to get these donkeys moving. I like a sensitive donkey and he played li paid little extra bonus for the sensitivity of the donkey and took it home. He left it in his… in the barn and tomorrow morning he has to go to work. He went there and told the donkey, please let's go. No response. He said, please, let us go. Nothing. He went down on his knees and prayed, nothing. You're not supposed to abuse it, you're not supposed to beat it. Not knowing what to do, he went back to the man who sold the donkey. See, I pr I… I requested, I pleaded, I prayed, he's not responding, what am I supposed to do? That man said, is that so, let me see, and he came. He picked up a thick stick like this, one whack on the head, and then he threw the stick and said, come. The donkey followed. Shankar and Bilai got furious, you idiot, you said it's a sensitive donkey, and the way you hit this animal, I've never hit an animal like this in my life. He said, no, 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 he's very sensitive, first you have to get his attention. <laughs> so, developing sensitivity means, if you simply close your eyes, uh, you must know what face of moon it is right now, because all this is playing in your body. Every day it is playing in your system. Do you see if it's a full moon or a new moon, the entire ocean is coming up? There are tides, isn't it? You ever been to the ocean side or you don't? You do? There are tides? Yes. The whole ocean is trying to rise. Seventy-two percent of your body is water. You think nothing is rising? It is. For every position of the sun, moon and many things that are happening to the planet, they're happening to you. You must become life sensitive. Then you will know how to manage every aspect of your life. Don't become ego sensitive. Don't become society sensitive. Life sensitive if you become. What's happening this, this, with this life if you know this one thing all the time? You will see, you got your GPS on, there's really no problem, you will never get lost. It doesn't matter who says what, what kind of situations you're put into, you're never ever lost because you're life sensitive. 
This is all this life needs, that this has to become life sensitive. Right now we have developed a psychological structure which has got nothing to do with life, it's got something to do with the social scene, got nothing to do with the life.